Hey, it's Ubu, and I'm glad you're here. Today we're going to play the demo for I'm on Observation Duty 7. And I've only ever played the first game, and I never even beat it, because I wasn't very good at it, to be honest. And I've played another game very similar to this, uh, called Alternate Watch, which is like a fan-made game. Um, and that was a lot of fun. So, I saw this demo come out today, I believe, and I figured I'd try it out, see if I can do any better with the newer version of the game. And, uh, yeah, it's developed by Notovia and Dreamloop Games, and it's published by Notovia, and you can find the demo on Steam. So, pretty cool stuff. And like I said, not too good at these games, but I'm gonna do my best. And the music on this main menu goes kinda hard, I'm just saying, I like it. <laughs> this is pretty legit. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, yeah. I guess we'll hit play and see what's up. Okay, attention employee. Anomalies have been previously sighted in the monitored area. Right. Pay extremely close attention to the surveillance camera footage. File an anomaly report as soon as possible when you notice something has changed. Right. I think I kind of get it. Kind of snowy cabin here. I'm, I'm gonna say with some of this lighting here, it's gonna be probably kind of difficult for me, but we'll see how it goes. This is cool. Inside the cabin. A very strange dog picture on the wall. <laughs> what in the world? I'd like, I always like to tell myself that I have pretty good observation skills or even memory but when I play games like this yeah it kind of reminds me that man maybe not so much anyways uh, all right so we need to basically memorize the rooms as best we can for something changes These people are kind of cluttered in their living, their living style. I will say this game looks great. Some people are warming their gloves on the radiator there on the wall. Interesting that I have a mouse. You can actually see kind of what I'm looking at as I go around the room. I feel like the first attempt is always going to be sort of a trial and error sort of thing. Magazines on the bed. That's sort of my way of remembering things when I play games like this. I'll say a lot of things out loud, so just bear with me. I don't remember, was this door this far open? I guess it was. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to start second-guessing myself a lot at some point. Interesting. Hmm. I'll be honest, I don't know if anything has changed yet, but if you get to three anomalies at once, I think you just fail. Which, uh, damn. I want to say that lid is moved. Uh, let's see... Whoa, wait a minute, what is this? What? Abyss? I don't know, I don't know what abyss is. Rift, steam, smoke, fog, camera malfunction. I'm not sure what that means. So it's not like item moved or anything like that, or what? Am I wrong? Oh, you hold down. Oh, 
Movement? Whoa, this is way different. Okay. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Alrighty. So the mouse itself is how you do certain reports. And then you have the report button, which is separate. It's interesting. We have to be on the lookout. Oh, that's... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What, what is this? Abyss? Uh, bathroom? Oh, God. I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, so Abyss are the scary black clouds that show up for some reason. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Alrighty, then. There's very few things out here, which is concerning because there's, like, things propped up against the wall out here. There's like these little sticks here. So, I mean, it's like, what in the world could I be looking for? Like, footsteps in the snow and maybe like extra trees or trees missing? Or, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I like that there's a lot of color in this. And the first game when I was playing it, and I, I don't know if there was an option I missed, but boy, playing a game like this in black and white is like really difficult. Uh, at least for me it is. Cats running around my room. Very cool. That won't be distracting. And there are things like really far away on some of these levels. Where like way over there on the bookshelf. I'm not really sure. I guess we won't really know until things start to really you know ramp up and whatnot obviously that's sort of the name of the game but intention employee we've received readings of multiple active anomalies okay well i'm, I'm missing something then clearly not sure what they are though like, I wonder if there's, like, an extra pot here. I I've been thinking that this whole time. Like, object... Manipulation? I, I mean, I don't really know. No anomalies found. Oh, man, I'm gonna lose, aren't I? Okay, here's something. Object manipulation. And that's gotta be it, right? Okay. So, like, that was a pretty obvious one. And if you're watching this and going like, I can't believe he can't see that this is different. It's like, I'm trying, okay? Like, please, <laughs> bear with me. I still feel like these pots look really weird sitting here. I don't know why that's bothering me so much. Like, what else would it be? Like, object replacement? Oh, so... Something can be replaced. Oh, no. So, I feel like this looks weird. I do like the system that they've added... Cat's having a sneezing fit. Hell yeah. I still haven't noticed anything out here. I, it could be crazy, but... Also, I feel like this drawing on the wall is kind of weird looking. Nope. All right. I wonder if, like, 
rugs are going to change or what. Sort of the fun of these games, for me at least. Oh my god. Look away, kids. Oh no. Ew. <laughs> that... That was not cool. <laughs> what in the world, dude? Get out of my house. Or whoever's house this is. You don't belong here. Image anomaly. No anomalies found. Okay. Oh. Was that a camera thing that just happened? Wait, this camera is different. Is it? Whoa, my brain is telling me <laughs> this is like a different perspective for some reason. I don't think it is. Should I like Camera malfunction in the kitchen? Because it like glitched out for a second. I guess not. Alright. <laughs> hmm. I assume I need to keep an eye on these bottles as well. Owl looks different. Or does it? <laughs> don't really know. I see everything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, like, what is that? Is that not a camera malfunction? What is this, bed? Anomalies have taken over. Okay, I fixed four and I missed three. Dead body in yard? I didn't see a dead body in the yard. Missing object in bathroom, missing object in kitchen. I do like how they tell me what I missed. Um, that's actually pretty great. I didn't see a dead body in the yard. Clearly, but um, let's try again. I'm, I'm into this. I'm liking this a lot more than the first game, I'll be honest. Dead body in the yard. What, was it like way over there or something? Or... Uh, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay, I can actually cycle with the keys. So it said missing object in the kitchen. There's like bread here. That might have been the bread. Or what's on the microwave. And then there was also a missing object in the bathroom. Isn't that what it said? This looks exactly the same to me. I don't know. Maybe when it hit three, I just lost, so it didn't really matter. Who knows? You know? We're learning together. This is a cozy place, I'll say that. I don't know about the TV and the radio. I mean, what, what? I don't know what year we're living in. This is probably the 90s. Early 90s. Which is a great time. Dead body in the yard, man. I'm going to have to look out for that one next time. Something is missing here. Movement. Missing object. You gotta be kidding me. I, I remember, I, I swore there was something else here. Could be making it up. Interesting.
So we have like all kinds of different colored things, I think, which is kind of helpful. I haven't noticed anything. Hmm. Where are you? Still don't know why I feel like this is different. I was correct, so it moved over a hook here. That was yeah, it was on a different hook. All right, well at least I caught that one. Okay, there's a light here. Object manipulation, maybe like turning the lantern on is manipulating it. Um, lights. Kitchen? I don't know. Alright, so that was extremely specific to... That lamp's always been on, right? Check all the lamps! <laughs> which ones were on, which ones weren't. Right. Three towels. Two red buckets, two green buckets. Well, there's three red buckets, technically. Down in the bottom corner here, there's another one. I, like I said, I feel like the yard might be the more difficult one. Hmm. Oh, there's a key right there. That wasn't there before. Extra object. We got the key. Yeah, that noise always freaks me out. For some reason, I thought there was someone like peeking into the window right here. Spooky. Spooky boogie. You get rid of these cobwebs, dude. Like, what the heck? I think it'd be cool to have games like this in different... What is that? In different, um, like, game settings... Like, imagine this on, like, Silent Hill, like, different locations, or, you know, other famous games, like Ratchet and Clank, and I think that'd be really fun. Or just other horror games in general. Like, Condemned. <laughs> Remember that game? It was great. There's some kind of weird texture on this thing where it looks like it's almost moving. Whatever that is, I can't even tell what it is. It almost looks like fingers or something. <laughs> I can't tell what I'm looking at. I'm going crazy. I have not seen anything in a minute, and that worries me. I've noticed anything, I should say. Red's there. I mean, like, I'm going to check this chair for object movement. I don't know if it was, like, all cattywampus like that before, but I guess not. I still don't know what this is. 
object. Did it already do that? I don't remember. It even said things could be replaced. So, like, it'll look like it belongs there, but maybe some of them will be quite obvious of like, oh, that doesn't belong here. Why is there bread in the bathroom? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not cool, dude. Gross. Well, I'm really glad that one's obvious. Or, I don't know really if I am glad at all about that one, but... Yeah. It bothers me that I can't figure out what that is. My, my eyes just can't tell what it is. What are you? <laughs> huh. I don't know. Apparently there's going to be a dead body out here, so we got to look for that too. I mean, I don't know. So far this has been pretty chill. The more I play this, hopefully the better I'll get at it. Alright, we have a light anomaly in the bedroom. I like how uh, well the menus are working. Very reactive and I think, you know... Well done. Like it's easy to navigate them and everything. Uh, that's that's good. I've had rugs just like this, except they'd be like different colors, like orange and stuff. You know. Fun facts. <laughs> I really don't know. What to expect. That's what was so cool about I Spy books back in the day. All the little different locations they would use. Like the one in the Haunted Mansion. And like up in the attic of the man. Like you would go, it would like pick a location. And then it would use different rooms throughout the location to. There's an extra object here. To like use like the attic and the and the mansion and like the living room and the kitchen and stuff. It was that was so cool. Just something about looking at those pictures and those old books and seeing the little skeleton guy, you know. Something about it was just really strange, but also kind of cozy. It was weird. I don't know why the scan lines like that appear on the screen. Like there should be some sort of camera anomaly or something, but or I don't know if it's just messing with me or what. I don't know nothing. This, this looks so weird to me. I, I just can't. It's like. I don't know. Whatever. Also, I don't know if this iron has moved. It is not. Oh, there's an abyss. An abyss. Great movie, The Abyss. It's kind of weird, but it's, it's pretty great. The last time I watched The Abyss was on VHS. I'm not that old. I just... I used to watch a lot of VHSs, okay. <laughs> Anyways. I wonder if you can watch something change in real time. 
Unless the game is designed to not allow that. Hmm. Oh my god! What? With protection? No, no! I messed up! No! What in the world? What is happening? What is this game? <laughs> I panicked and I clicked the wrong thing. Gosh, darn it. That was crazy. What in the world? So we had something move in the kitchen too, but All right, let's let's try again. I'm not going to I'm not going to draw this out too long. I definitely will come back to play this one. This one's a lot of fun actually, so uh yeah, I panicked and I misclicked uh yeah, one of those squares. So that was my fault. Whoops. Alright, I moved us ahead a little bit since something really seems to happen early on. Oh, we're around the 30 mark. Hey, what? I know these games are known for having like weird, like, you know, the intruders and stuff, but I did not expect that. That was, that was, um, that was a bit, but much. This is different. Scanning room. <laughs> Anomaly fixed. There was something in here that moved before, but like I said, it might have happened while we were away from the kitchen, and then, of course, we lost, so we never got back to the kitchen. So I, I wouldn't have known what it was anyways, unless I missed it earlier on. That's possible as well. Lights in the bedroom. Anomaly detected. Please stand by. Anomaly fixed. Mission complete. So the goal is to get to six hours. If I didn't make that clear earlier. So we had a noon with the bone there. And the, the light, we already had the light in the bedroom happen, so. I can keep a list in my head. Then maybe we'll get somewhere. I spy with my little eye something blue. Oh, <laughs> honestly, I don't. I don't really know what to talk about in games like this. So, um, we're just hanging out. No big deal. I haven't seen anything in a minute. Everything looks in place. I mean, this is this is not good. I gotta find something soon. I think. There's gotta be something, right? Did like did this move some? Like if it's turned. I don't know if something that minute would happen, but it's 
good to double check, I guess, if I'm not sure about something. Hmm. Don't know. All this looks correct. Uh oh, I'm getting nervous. Anybody see a dead body? I don't see one. I see trees. And snow. And rugs and stuff. Oh. Okay, okay. I'm getting one right now. I don't see anything out here. Pictures, vase, pictures. I don't know if this stool was always here. Tip two lamps. There's this stuff. All, all this looks exactly like it should, unless I'm crazy. Bread's there. And all this stuff is where it's supposed to, like, did this move? Because... I don't know. I'm just going to have to start guessing because I'm not really sure. Three towels. Toilet paper's there. Oh, man. Sorry, I'm concentrating. Uh. Oh, I think this is different. I don't. I could be wrong. I remember that. I thought that cup looked different. Uh oh. I'm definitely wrong. <laughs> oh no! I don't know what to do. Is this object different? I think it's weird that there's a gap on the shelf right here. Like something over here moved. Okay, I, I, I don't know. Just kind of, I'm trying. I didn't notice. Frosted glass and entryway. Oh, I did see that, but I, I thought it was normal. Image anomaly in bedroom. You are mine in yard. I swear, I'm not seeing anything in the yard. It's driving me crazy. All right, we're gonna try one more time because uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this. This will be my last try for the demo and uh, we'll go from there. Maybe I'll come back to this at another time. So, frosted glass and entryway. You are mine in the yard. And then there was an image anomaly in the bedroom. So there's like an old lady here Somebody like flaying open like a pig or something. I 
don't know what this is. It's just black and white stuff. And there's like a man. And this round one here. And this, this image anomaly count as this comic book. It just kind of looks like a person standing there. Like Bigfoot or something. I don't know what that is. But it's white. So maybe when it changes, I'll notice if it's like a different color or something. All right, we're back at the 30 mark. Kind of jarring going... Oh, Jesus Christ. Hope I don't immediately lose because I didn't notice this. I was close. I feel like it would have taken over the room and I would have lost. But um, anyways, it's kind of jarring playing the first game, which was kind of a while back. It wasn't that far back for me, but... And then jumping into this version, it's, it's a very different experience. <laughs> I've kind of already talked about that some, but uh, they, they've come a long way for sure. Because I know these games have been... Oh, there's a little doll right here. Yeah, how do I notice that? I knew they would do something with drawing in snow or footsteps or something, but... We're going to get them, though. We'll, we'll get better at this. Another thing about them telling you what you missed when you lose is like me worrying about stuff in the kitchen for so long. It kind of confirms that... It kind of reinforces that things were not out of place. So it makes things a little bit easier to remember sometimes. Like, oh, okay, well, then everything I you know, thought about in the kitchen was clearly correct. So that's a good way to reinforce your memory in a way, I think. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. And I think the more you play a game like this, you kind of have to get better at sort of your pacing. I played alternate watch. It took me a couple of, tr like, not a couple of tries, but a couple of videos. It took me several tries to be alternate watch. Um, once you kind of get in the rhythm of everything and, you know, start to remember everything and, and things kind of fall together, fall in place. That game was great. It's my. It was my most. It still is my most viewed video when I played Alternate Watch. I don't really know why, but it's pretty cool, though. It's basically this. Like I'm on observation duty, but it's a, a, a fan-made game inspired by. I think it's called the Mandela Catalog. About you know that analog horror stuff people were doing with like the altered people um, and stuff like that that was popping off for a while. That game is in black and white, but so it's pretty easy to see uh, the depth of everything. Anyways, I like to talk about games, clearly. It's bread. I had to make that joke. I couldn't resist. I don't know what this is. Image anomaly? I, I'm not sure. What, there's something on this table. I don't know what it is. So it would be an extra object. It looked like... I don't know what you call those, like a placemat. It's this. Oh, what's on this table right here, this white thing. All right.
Seems like, or I guess it's around the two hour mark that things like really pop off. Makes me wonder what the difficulty ramp really is. If it's like, literally the longer you play the game, the more difficult it becomes. But it, I don't know if it becomes like completely unbearable or like <laughs> almost unwinnable unless you're like a sleuth at this kind of game. I'm not too worried about it, but I'm just curious. So far, so good, I think. Scanning the snow and see if there's anything written that I'm not seeing. Okay, it's when I haven't seen anything in a while, that's when I get kind of nervous. Oh, here we go. I will have you. I saw at that time. Extra object. What would you call this? Oh, you are mine. It's it's an additional option to pick there. Okay. Interesting. Anomaly fixed. Extra object here. That was a subtle one. I mean, I guess not really. It's just like a, a green thing on the table. <laughs> You can see every. It's funny that you can see everything. I'm. I, I keep checking with my mouse. Um. It's like play along with Ubu. Follow the mouse. I don't know what I'm saying. Like, I'm keeping an eye on the pictures and the comic book thing. You know, kind of sort of training my eye. I want that creepy hard hat guy to show back up, whatever you want to call him, the head smasher or <laughs> whatever, skull cracker, head banger. Hmm.
Okay, here's the frosted glass. Okay. Things like that seem to appear as their own option. So they're more of like an environmental change, or I don't even know what you would want to call it, like a an extra, rather than, oh, it's an object, or, you know, whatever that we're used to. Makes me wonder what other things can be like that. I don't know how far we've made it, to be honest. Oh, this chair is moved. There's something right here that looks different to me. I, I don't know why, but anyways, let's let's not harp on it too long. Whoa, okay, there's something over there. Are you sure? Submit. That Bigfoot like skiing? <laughs> what is that? That's weird. That was so weird. So they're, they, there's like little like mini games almost to some of those intruders. They really try to screw you up. That. I saw this just like this big shadow figure standing out in the woods. It's like, oh my god. Not cool, dude. It's good to know because I know what to look out for, I guess. Dear God. Put on a shirt. Jeez, <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Damn, lady. Let's see here. It's going to haunt me for a while. I feel like we're getting the hang of this a little bit. Knock on wood. Oh. Wait, is it? Uh, door anomaly. Oh! No! Don't slam the door! <laughs> I wish I knew what this was on top of the cabinets. I don't I can't even tell what that object is. It's just kind of there. It's just like shiny. Maybe it's a can opener or something. There's a spider right here on the wall. Huge spider. <laughs> Doesn't take long to notice that, I tell you. There's a spider that big on your wall, you're gonna see it. It's like we're living in Australia or something. Look at the size of that spider. <laughs> I 
I don't even know if that was correct accent, but I thought it was funny. Whoa, whoa. Is this a rift? Treeway. Rift closed. Okay, we've made it pretty far this time. And then I hope I don't immediately lose after saying that. Interesting, some of the ones that I had happened earlier just haven't re -eared. I don't know if we've had anything in the kitchen this whole time. Boots are missing. Alright, I'm working on that one. Okay. Strange broadcast. That was pretty weird. All of this seemed to have appeared like all at the same time. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, the camera just flickered. I wonder why that's a thing. Oh no. The bed humper. The dreaded bed humper. <laughs> the notorious. <laughs> just scanning around, just trying to keep an eye out. Not much else we can really do, you know? It's kind of the, the whole game. <laughs> we'll say this is fairly, um, this is pretty fun though. I'm, I'm having a good time with this. Got the light anomalies, so that's good. Looking for things drawn in the snow. I haven't seen the little doll come back or the big shadow skier man. I haven't seen a dead body. I'm just, you know, constantly checking paintings. The frosted glass. Uh, we haven't seen naked grandma in a while. Oh, well, that's a good thing. I haven't seen any image anomalies in this room since I missed that one. So we're on the last hour, so hopefully we do okay here. I'm hearing something. Is it just music? It's making me nervous. Calm, cool, and collected. Checking everything that I've been checking before. No doll. No riding in the snow. No body that I can see. Camera whizzed out for a second, so maybe something changed. 
Everything is here. All this is cr Is there a pillow missing? I don't know why I think there's a pillow missing somewhere. Boots are there. Mittens are there. No frosted glass. I, I mean, I, I haven't noticed anything yet. There's got to be something in this last hour, right? I don't know why I think there's a missing pillow here somewhere. I, I don't know why, but... Oh. There was. Okay. I'm glad I did that. That was cool. Got the dog picture. Gonna pet that dog. Red is there. Everything seems in place here. Oh, okay. Image anomaly. Okay, the comic changed. Nice. I don't know if the mirror in the bathroom was black like that the whole time. Okay, just wanted to double check that. I wasn't really sure. I feel like there are books missing over here. Alright, we got that one. Yeah, there were some books missing, okay. Very cool. Everything looks in place in here. I haven't seen the headbanger guy again. I'm kind of glad I haven't because those seem like they're kind of easy to mess up unless you're <laughs> a little bit more calm about it than I was. Checking all the buckets and the towels. This moved. Nice. Clock is still going. Interesting. We did it. You made it. Yes. Hell yeah, dude. I didn't think I'd actually get it. I'm pretty excited about that. This was legit. Excuse my weird pose. I'm <laughs> stretching. <laughs> okay. You can wishlist the game on Steam, by the way. And uh, I guess we'll go back to the main menu. Very cool. So I'm going to talk about the game now. I'm going to just start with... Uh, I'm going to turn my volume down, though, a little bit. This music is sick. I like it. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'll just start with what I normally do and just go on visuals, audio, and mechanics. So visually, I think the game is actually pretty solid. I like the, the visual approach they've gone with in this game. It's pretty easy to see things... Uh, clearly and it's I think a lot more enjoyable as a game where when I like I said I've only played the first game and even if there are ways to like change uh, the filters and everything uh, the colors of the first game I'm not really sure if there are but um, anyways my point is this game is easy to see in and it's like very clear 
on what you're doing and what you're looking at. And I, I very much like that approach. And just the overall perspective of the cameras, I think is a, is oriented in a, in a correct way, or in at least a way where you don't feel like so far away from things. There was like long hallways in the original game and stuff, which I really didn't like. And I like that these are more grounded locations, like a cabin, you know, where you're just in different rooms. Um, that's a lot like what alternate watch was like. You're just in a house and room to room you go and there, you just have to be better about, you know, hunt. You're not fighting your vision looking in these rooms as much as you are just trying to find what's different about them. If that makes sense. Cause that's how I feel about playing the first game where it's like, I could just not see anything barely. It is what it is. So visually, I think the game is pretty great. Um, I like the imagery, uh, with the weird, uh, abyss, uh, anomalies and the intruders and stuff. I think it's overall visual presentation. I think it's fairly solid. Uh, I don't really have any complaints there at all. Sometimes I can't really tell what an object is, but that's just because, you know, I have a bright ring light in my face as well when I'm making videos. So I'm not going to hold that against the game. <laughs> if I was playing in the dark, you know, it might be a little easier to see, but uh, yeah, pretty good stuff. And audio wise, I think the game has fair, fairly solid audio as well. I like the main menu music here. It's like this weird techno rock stuff. Also in the game, just the overall way menu sound when you're clicking on, you know, an anomaly or going through the menu of picking an anomaly and stuff like that. I like all of the sounds that are being used um, just in general. I like just the overall audio presentation as well. It's very simplistic, but I think it's really effective. And um, I like that they kind of cranked up some, you know, weird ambience towards, you know, in the last hour there. It made me a little more nervous, you know, like, uh oh, I need to. Uh, I need to pay attention. I got one hour left. So yeah, overall, you know, pretty solid there on the audio as well. I don't really have any complaints, you know, that stand out. So in terms of mechanics, obviously, uh, like you'll see on some of the hints on the main menu here, um, it is really just about having a sharp eye and good memory. And I think the more you play the game, it's designed to basically reward your time, if that makes sense, where if you play the game and you continue to learn and remember the anomalies that you miss, especially, which I very much appreciate them, including you missed this anomaly in the kitchen or missing object in the bedroom. Or I think that's an extremely smart way to just encourage the player to keep trying because they're like, okay, since I missed that in that room, whatever it was, then I'll be more aware of that going forward. And then I think that plays upon the idea of the game being like a memory game. So I thought that was a really good idea. I don't know if that's been added in previous uh, I'm on Observation Duty games. That's just my experience with this game. So I very much like that inclusion because I don't, I don't remember that in the first one. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, overall, I do like the way the game encourages you to keep trying and also reward you for your time by at least giving you a bit of an idea of what you might have missed. And then that might help you continue and memorize and play the game a little bit more efficiently. So mechanically, I think the game is fairly sound. Um, I think it does a really good job. I thought it was pretty solid. I don't really have anything to complain about. I think sometimes, I mean, I can't even really complain about this, which is like the intruder thing, not, in, not knowing that you have to click on little pictures of a hard hat while he like approaches the camera. I'll, the thing is, is that I know how to do better next time. So I really like that it, it plays on its strength of, of a memory game. Like you might fail, but like just keep trying and you'll do better because you know you just learn by doing kind of thing. So yeah, I, I appreciate that. It's not like too much hand holding, but just enough to keep encouraging you. I like that a lot because um, it's okay to play games that are like really punishing every once in a while if you like that kind of stuff, like as a challenge. But I like a nice middle of the road challenge more often than not. So this was cool. This is really cool. Aside from that, I don't really have much else to say about it. I'm, I'm glad I played this today. I, thought I had a lot of fun with it because I feel like, I don't know, I feel just like I feel good beating the demo. It's really cool. I actually am really excited to play the full version of this. I know there are some previous games that are probably as good as this. Um, I'm not really sure. Let me know what's up. But um, I like this approach a lot as a game. This is a really good game in my opinion. So I would say my final judgment for the I'm on Observation Duty 7 demo is I would say it's very good. And I really highly recommend this. I think it's a really solid game. I had a really good time with this. So the demo can be found on Steam for free. And uh, I'll have links in the pinned comment below for you to go check everything out for yourself. And uh, I'll have a link to my Twitter and stuff like that too if you're curious about that. And um, yeah, just let me know what's up in the comments as well. 
uh, what you have to say about this game and this franchise. If you're familiar with this, if you enjoy these games, uh, if you enjoyed my playthrough, let me know what's up. I'd really like to hear what you have to say. Um, yeah, so go ahead and do that. And if you enjoy my content and want to see more from me, hit subscribe. And don't forget to also leave a like and share the video too. I would greatly appreciate that. Yeah, overall, this is pretty solid. I had a good time with this. I'm glad I played it. So I appreciate you watching and I hope you have a great day. And uh, I think that's all I have to say about it. So thanks for hanging out with me. And don't forget, the Pale Moth is always watching.